New tonight, the weapons manufacturer Smith & Wesson opened its first its newest facility in Maryville. While some welcome the business, others say bringing it to East Tennessee is disrespectful to victims of gun violence. 10 News reporter Aaron Velasquez spoke with them about their disagreements. So we're showing up to hold Smith & Wesson accountable. Weapons manufacturer Smith & Wesson opened its newest facility in Maryville. For some, it was a celebration. For others, a protest. It's a slap in the face to every gun violence survivor and everyone that has worked to reduce gun violence in our communities. We are a gentle, angry people, and we are singing, singing for our lives. Students demand action rallied against gun violence during the ribbon cutting. CEO Mark Smith from Smith & Wesson says that's their right. We fully respect everybody's rights, all their constitutional rights, and the First Amendment is one of their constitutional rights. So. He says East Tennessee's community and politics played a role in opening the facility in Murrayville. The unwavering support for the Second Amendment and our business and our industry um, that we feel in, in Tennessee at the end of the day was, you know, was the, the absolute hands-down um, deal-maker for us. Smith & Wesson says the event with local vendors and music is a celebration of its support for local workers. The $160 million we're making in this facility is just the beginning. So that you know the job and the jobs that we're bringing here, seven to 800, you know, new, high-paying, great benefit jobs bringing into the community. In Murrayville, I'm Aaron Velasquez. The company says its new facility will be a hub for making and distributing plastic framed pistols. Protesters say state lawmakers shouldn't welcome the facility.